The expectations are really high for Louisiana men's basketball entering this season. Coming off a run to the Sunbelt Championship game, the Cajuns are picked to finish first in the conference. UL tipping off their season tonight, hosting Centenary. The Sunbelt's preseason player of the year in Jordan Brown leading UL against Centenary, but it would be the former walk-on Kentrell Garnett to draw for his blood. Drilling a triple from deep, Brown then made his presence felt. Getting the rebound, he is going to fight off defenders and then give him the hoop and the harm. Cajuns led by 30 at one point in the first half, and UL is also showing they have a lot of depth with guys like Lafayette's Jalen Dalcourt providing a spark with 11 first half points, including this triple from the corner. But tonight was the JB show as he just completely dominated. You'll see him here go inside spin and then he's going to go up for the big time dunk. And it is UL that gets the win 106 to 55. Jamarcus Fitzpatrick is standing by live with a recap. Hey Seth, it would be a beat down for the ages as the Cajuns would drop 106 points. Five of the 10 players that touched the floor scored in double figures. Jalen Dowcourt came off the bench and dropped 13. Greg Williams got the start at guard and dropped 11, but all of that would be centered around star forward Jordan Brown who had 26 points and nine rebounds in a performance for the ages. The Sunbelt preseason player of the year played absolutely phenomenal, going nine of 11 from the floor and only missing two shots, those two shots being three point attempts. And after the game, we talked with head coach Bob Marlin and he had nothing but great things to say about his star guy. You know, tonight they ran and doubled him, tripled him a couple times. He threw one great pass cross court to Greg, I believe got assist and uh, uh, he, he's gotten better. He's just gotten better, but it's important for him to get off to a good start. I mean, he's, he's a preseason player of the year in the league, and uh, we know preseason doesn't matter, just like our number one ranking. We're, we're trying to get better and, and cut down the nuts, and we'll settle for nothing less. The Cajuns will have a couple of days to take in the win. Coach Marlin actually told us that the team will go and vote tomorrow for Election Day, but then their next opponent will be probably their smartest opponent as they'll head up to Asheville, North Carolina to take on Harford. But for now, live here at the Cajun Dome, Jamarcus Fitzpatrick, KATC Sports.